say that as you wait for them to party secretaries an opportunity ama tunaweza kubaliana how secretaries uh, waweza kupatia the secretary wa men fellowship wana Benson Joki so that he can do the compiling for us alafu anaweza patia asisi ndio muweze kubaliana nyote as men fellowship the way forward can that be adopted as a as an agenda for men fellowship wacha tuone the secretaries wale ambao walichagua various groups wana Benson tafadhali waangalie ukiwa na Frank waangalie those leaders we are going to talk to them ndio waweze kukupatia kupatia report and let's see what can be done from that information especially what we are planning to do as men fellowship now with that we come to the end of part 1 how was it was it refreshing have you learned something umesoma kitu kutupitia rafiki yako yes so the leaders tafadhali tunaomba msituweke kwa kwa jangwa not stab us such kind of opportunities for men to come together there is a lot that can be done when these servants of god come together iron sharpens iron kwa sababu si atuendi kwa milango mambo mengine so if you can give us opportunities to be together and even do things together i want to believe by god's grace you're going to build a very fortified body of christ sasa tutaingia hapo ya mwisho ambao sidhani itachukua dakika nyingi sana kwa sababu ya masaa kwa kituwezesha by 5 no not 5 by 4 455 nafaa kwa nimenyamaza 455 ndejaribu ku make as short as possible uh, it's, it's something that i always think not less than a day on kwa hivyo ndejaribu kuona how i can squeeze just for us to pick the key aspects um depo deposit yes kuendelea wale ambao wako na biblia zao i would like our second section that is touching on finances ikaweza kutoka kitabu cha madhayo mlango wa sita kuanzia mstari wa 24 madhi chapter 6 na wale ambao wameweza kufumilia hadi saa hii tunasema ni asanteni sana thank you so much for really sacrificing the post ukaweza kuwa hapa hadi wakati kama huu uh, we don't take it for granted So Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 inasema no one can serve two masters either you will hate one and love the other you will be devoted to one and despise the other you cannot serve both God and money yes you cannot serve both God and money kwa hivyo inatudulisha we have two gods kuna kuna Mungu wawili ambao wanatawala hii dunia Mungu wa kwanza ni Mungu ambaye aliumba hii dunia, mbingu na ardhi through uh, his son Jesus Christ ambaye aliweza kukufa na pia akafufuka tena kwa ajili yako. Na jina la Mungu wetu ni Jehovah. Ya? Yeah? Ndio tunasema Jehovah Jire, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah all those things. Our God is called Jehovah. So he's the creator of heaven and earth. Then we have the second God wa hii dunia. Na Mungu wa pili wa hii dunia si shetani. According to the verse that we've learned, no one can serve two masters. Yes. Master ni mdosi, ni soko, ni mzunye, ni mzungu. Yes, ndio. So no one can serve two masters. Either you will hate one and love the other. You'll be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve both now who are these masters you cannot serve both number one, the first master is god the second master is not satan the second master is money you cannot serve both god and money some versions nasema mkomo but the god of money something of the sort kwa hivyo nakuta hili swala la pesa nilo yesu aliweza kuongelelea zaidi ya Jesus talked about money in the, in the Bible more than heaven and earth combined because he knew that where your treasures are that is where your heart is now nikiangalia the great men ambao umeweza kuketi hapo wakati kama huu I'm able to tell where your treasures are today 
kuna watu walikuwa suppose kwenda dhodhoni wamewacha kuna watu walikuwa na deal mahali wamewacha kuna watu walikuwa kuna cheki bora timu yao ikinyanyaswa au ikinyanya sana lakini umesema hapana their treasure is in building themselves their treasure is in investing in the kingdom and the bossa this investment that you're making in yourself on account of the kingdom by god's grace and mercy is going to benefit you so much on this life and even the life to come mimi na kuanga certified public accountant nimeketi kwa ispac hii committee ambayo ina regulate all accountants in kenya nimefanya hiyo mpaka 2018 i'm also a ecom finance yes na nimepatiwa fursa ya kufanya lecture kwa several universities mambo ya pesa wale ambao wamekuwa naniangalia runinga especially last year mambo yote ya Kenya finances kabla budget tolewe nilikuwa kwa NTV naitwa kuja kusema what the president is supposed to do or the cabinet secretary finance and nimekuwa nachambua uchumi na kuambia wana biashara what they are supposed to do na hii siku ambayo nilikuwa naitwa one of the universities niweze kuendelesha wale wanafunzi wanafanya accounts wanasomea mambo ya accounts mambo ya pesa nilianza kuuliza nani anajua ile pesa ametumia kwa offer kutoka mwanzo wa mwaka tulikuwa mwezi wa tisa ka 12 moja nikainua juu nikauliza kuna mmoja anaweza niambia ametumia sadaka pesa ngapi hakuna nikauliza because all of you are young nani anaweza niambia zile pesa ambazo so wameweza kutumia entertainment kujivinjari anyone lunch zako ama supper ama hakuna how much have you spent on air time bundles minutes kutoka january mpaka saa hii anyone watu wote wananiangalia kama vipi sasa then kutoka hapa nauliza wale ambao wameokoka na wanapenda Mungu sana kuna mtu ambaye anaweza nionyesha mahali ambapo ameandika zile pesa ametumia kwa time ama anajua exactly to the last coin ni pesa ngapi ametumia kwa time nikaangalia bado watu wananiangalia kama sinao then kutoka hapo nikauliza if you don't know uliza jirani The Bible says this whoever is faithful with little will also be faithful with much. Lakini nikiwa nimesimama kwenye hiyo lecture hall nikasikia kama nimeshurutishwa nimepigwa slap nikauliza wewe unauliza watu na je wewe unajua and of course nikasema pia mimi sijui lakini sasa nikasikia pigo kubwa sana kwa that was i think 20 sitawaifunza mtu kitu chochote ambacho sijajaribu maisha so all the things that i've talked about today these are things that by god's grace i've tried and practiced in my life that's why si lazima nikuje na vitabu hapa nafungua na sema eh, page 1 na wasomea because the moment you do these things over and over again si lazima usome vitabu siku hapa it's part of your life yeah it's part of your life so kutoka hiyo siku nikajiambia nafungua kurasa mahali i'm going to write all the money that comes in terms of income ile pesa yote inakuja najiambia hiyo i think wakati nilikuwa na hizo za tax file hapa nilikuwa na some of those cars nafanya hiyo kazi nilikuwa na rental na nyumba zinaniletea rent and all those other kind of things so nikaandika all my income sources my salary kutoka bank and all that uh, naenda kuongea especially the university some companies there is that much that they pay so nikaanza kuandika hizo kitu zote all my income lines mali pesa zinatoka ngo saa nyingine nakutana na mtu ananiambia kunywa soda hiyo ni pia income donation naandika hapo pia kuna item number 7 ambayo ni donation so kutoka hapo nikatengeneza kalenda kwa kitabu kitabu kama yako unaweka tu lines sasa date kutoka na tarehe ya kwanza hadi tarehe 31 mwisho wa hiyo mwezi halafu kutoka hapo nikaweka total so that ile every day if god sends help through my salary if god sends help through my wife anaweza nipikia tu naona ametumia kai pesa ka 2000 ananiambia kisses okay hiyo ni sawa lakini sijui nimefanya nini namuuliza ni nini anambia wewe jifurahishe or i love you something of the sort niko mshia chokora pia mimi nikafanya hivyo sorry ana revenge kitu kama hizo that's a donation that has come in naandika hapo donation 
welfare and the people in hospital, tithe is supposed to be brought to the storehouse. It's supposed to be brought to the altar. That's why in Kona Sema, there are some churches that say, write your envelope. For me, I don't believe in that. Because, because, uh, superintendent minister, kwanza kukupikia simu at tithe ija. I know there are some churches who do that. At most, wajalipa tithe. Now, we agree that tithe is supposed to be your insurance. Acknowledging God for the breath. Kampuni kuyo breath, utalipa na pesa gani. But most of us tunajiambia haitoshi. That's why I'm not going to pay. Ama ndatumia, ndatumia ni itabaki. Unaya unakuna meta 100 tithe. the one who has given you the ability to create that wealth. I tell people when I'm, when I'm training on personal financial management that you are paid in next seat of your breath. And I tell people this, at the end of this month, salary. Try not to be alive next month. Try. Try. In other words, you are paid because of being alive. In other words, the money that comes to you is in exchange of your breath. Unalipo kuwa alive. Now, how you use that money shows me how much you value your life because life is in the breath. Tell your neighbor what you have. Now, if you are paid to be alive, who gave you the life? So whose money is it? It is his money. So when I came to learn that secret, by God's grace and mercy, it has been very easy. That's why, that's why when I was told leave the bank with a loan of 3.7 million, it was not very hard. Because I knew that this life is not mine. And God is able to supply all my needs. According to you, Most of us, wanajaribingi kuchukulia mungu kama church shifting. Pata potea. You're not very sure whether he's going to do it or not. Now, tunambua that cast is the one who puts his trust in man. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5. But blessed is the one who puts his trust in God. So, God is not counting on you to give your money first. He wants you to give yourself first. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Now, the moment you've given your body, you'll give everything that is attached to your body. You are supposed to have laid your wife at the altar. Kuna watu ambao wakona wives who are alive. You're not supposed to have a wife ambaya kwa alive. Or children who are alive. Even you, you're not supposed to be alive. You're supposed to have given your body off. You've given your life off to God. So that it's no longer about you. But it's about Christ who lives in you. He says that I died so that those who live may no longer live for themselves. But they are living for Christ. I've surrendered my wife to God. I've surrendered my children to God. If you touch them, you're not touching me. You're touching God. <laughs> you're touching God. So if someone touches your money, are they touching you or they are touching God? The answer is, if you have offered your money as a living sacrifice, if you have paid the 10%, anyone who messes with your money, my brother, anyone, I wanted to say my sister, but there's no sister here, unless there's a sister trying to, is drunk here. Yeah, so if my brother, you laid your money to the altar, the moment you make a tithe, I will always walk with my envelope, your tithe, yeah. So that this year, the moment you've laid that money on the altar, like that, the 10%, Unambia God, the remaining 90%, anyone who touches me, <laughs> any kind of devour, it's not me, it's you. You're touching the apple of God's eye. What greater insurance do you require than that? Free. 
I don't know where my income will come from next month, and I'm not going to market. I don't know where my income will come next year, next month, but one, but I'm not going to market. But as heaven is compared to the earth, I know I can't go below a six figure. I don't know where it's going to come from, but I know it's, it can't go below six figures. I'm sure it's given by God's grace. He's the one who called me. Can you be a talk about bank? So ni kama mile pesa ni kwa napata uko. Pende pas sefe kupata below that. And by His grace and mercy, He's able to do it. Bible na tuambi He's able to do exceedingly abundantly. So God wants to be involved in your finances. Have you given him the privilege of being a part of it? Tithe is cheaper than hospital bills. Tithe is bigger than me biwa na wife ama na watoto ama na mabishi wako. Tithe is cheaper than all those stresses utapata zangeta sijini nimepotea and all those other kind of things. My prayer, my desire is that as men we are going to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, allowing Christ to be our Lord and Savior. After that, we shall offer everything else that we have, our wives, our children, our property, everything that God has given us. With that, it's not about you, it's about God. You know that there's control over all your resources directly from heaven. So we've talked about your income. What about your expenses? Now, expenses, nizile pesa ambazo natumia. Tunasema hivi, there's nothing as dangerous as nameless money. Mbia jirani yako, ule umisikia. Yes, there's nothing as dangerous as nameless money. Ile ya pesa mba ujaita jina, ikiitua sadaka, inaitika. I thank God for Methodists, because we are not... I thank God for Methodists. You know, what about what I'm But uh, in some of these churches, I'm not saying there's any church bad. But Nakuta, people are very emotional with money. The servant of God, Akwapa, and Aubiri, and a sweat left, right, center, on a towel, and the Jiba Musa sweat. Receive touch! Nakuta, Muta, and Kia, and Wallet, and the Tuan Giri Mode, and Nakila. And the Laku Biri, Mutanachuka, fifty pop, and a Kelaqua Alta. And the Laku Biri, Mutanachuka, a hundred of open, and a Kelaqua Alta is okay. It's okay to connect with the anointing. Unaskia, a servant of God, and I say, But there is someone here, ten people, with ten thousand shillings each. To the summer, there's nothing as dangerous as nameless money. So there's someone here with 10,000 shillings. Tuna juliza, hey, pastor mejuaji ni kona elfu kumi. Nani rent? Hey, pastor mejuaji ni kona elfu kumi. Bless it at the altar and God is going to bless you. Hey, kama munga meona, wana ana kuona. Unakuta baba, metuwa hiyo pesa, na meenda mekelea pale. Watoto wana school fees. Rent haiko. Lakini si kama mungu aliona, mungu aliona. Okay. Now, who is the lord of your money? Who is the boss? God has given you authority over your finances. But so many people are being manipulated. Planting seeds. Kamazo wa zimi yaki. Ngalea jirani yako. Anakaa, wala wakua, wakupanda mbeku. Connecting with the anointing. I think Niliubiri, one of the churches, it's the same one again. It's the same one again. It's the same one again. But see, I hope, I hope see Maria Musha going again. See, Niliubiri, you're super patika nangi. There are those sermons I try to avoid. Because I think, Kako na moja nubana nita conference, a very big church in Yazana. Lakini ni meka, miaka tatu bila kuhitu a conference. Sana jito, ni kwani nilifanya mapasa kenya. Thou shall not point a finger, I'm not dead. So pasi, si kubaya. So unakuta, we are paying, we are giving time, we are giving our school fees. Unalipa pesa ya rent, unalipa pesa ya chakuli ya watoto, and you're connecting with your anointing. Are you 
wise or otherwise. And you are honoring the man of God more than God. When you are doing premarital counseling, we always give you a list. Tunakuliza between God and your wife or spouse. Who comes first? The right answer is God. Now between church and your spouse, who comes first? Katia kanisa na bibi yako nani anakuja kwanza Your spouse comes first Your spouse comes first The only thing that God demands of you he, he is not pleading or wishy The only thing that God demands of you is time Offering Thanksgiving He ordered Bible says, whoever sows sparingly is going to reap sparingly. And God says this, he loves a cheerful giver. Second Corinthians. He loves a cheerful giver. So, si ya tutapatiana kutoka hapo ufike pale mulango, you start cursing. Unasikia uchuru kwa sababu ujua ato mefanya. What if a servant of God, we came up with a budget we say there's nothing as dangerous as nameless money. Whereby, we come up with a budget for personal spending. How much do I want to spend on my lunch? How much do I want to spend on my fuel? How much do I want to spend on my entertainment? This much. You look at your family. How much do I want to spend on my family? If there are those husbands who believe in assisting their wives in kitchen budget, come up with your kitchen budget. Maybe when you so if you are those kind of people who have got such a budget to support, come up with your kitchen budget, come up with a budget for your wife, come up with a budget for your children in terms of school fees, come up with a budget for insurance, come up with a budget for entertainment, including their clothes, all these other kind of things. Kutoka hapo, come up with a budget for your donations. Start with time. Time not negotiable. Kutokapo, free will offering. Mambo ya gifts and all that. Fast foods. Very important in the kingdom of God. Then kutokapo, helping the less fortunate in the society. I call it the brother's keeper. Kutokapo, na kumbuka bila ulifanya ili ya income, tekeneza lines. Kutoka tareo, ya kwanza hiyo mwezi, paka tareo ya mwisho. Then every single day, spend that money as you allowed yourself to know. Now, Hapa ndiyo tunakosea watu wengi. Most people don't know this secret. Ukipanda mbegu mbaya, unavuna mavuno mbaya. So the first thing, even before that money comes, number one, plan for it. Come up with a budget. Name it. Most of us parents, hata kapila tuzaliwa tubarikiwa na mtoto, we already have a name. Unajiebia kama ni boy, ataitwa praise. Kama ni girl, you come up with a name for these children. Why not do the same for your money? Many people have been murdered. But when you are mewawa, they've suffered premature death on account of getting money which they had not planned for. You know that at least. They say that that money came to a person who was not prepared for it. Alijenga nyumba zake, kutoka hapo, nasikia mambo fulani likuwe na nika mbaya, touching on money. So money that was not planned for, money that you've not budgeted for, can come, become dangerous. Na kuta auto meshinda charity 16, na muliza, kishi hii pesa utapanyia nini na, kwanza na wana, na 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 na, and you find some of them don't even know what they're saying. So why not call yourself to a meeting and tell yourself, just like Hannah, Mamaya, Samuel, that if you give me this child, this is what I'm going to do with the child. God, if you give me this money, this month, these are my priorities. Come up with the budget. This is how I'm going to spend that money. Now, after coming up with the budget, the next thing is kitu amba tunaita prioritization listing. Now, kwa hiyo budget, kuna kitu ambayo haina priority juu sana 
for example, family, family entertainment and school fees, which one should come first? Easier said than done. So after coming up with the budget, come up na kitu ambayo kila mtu anajua ni school fees. Na tuko na base four hapa sana. Sika kuna main fellowship kwa ya. Mwanzi mko juu, mko sawa. Eh tuko juu hapa tunajua, si ndio? Lakini nakuta Nataka kuambia mwili pole. After all, we Christmas. Hey, unataka kujiangusha si? So Unataka kuwapeleka siji wapi? Na school fees. Tutaongelesha zako. Iko nini? Mbaya mbaya. Kwa hiyo ndereva kuwa makanga. Unajua ati nitakuwa hai. <laughs> si nikule ile naona. <laughs> eh, yeah, sio nakuna ni kubaya. So come up with what we call prioritization list. Come up with a budget. Hiyo budget jiite mkutano. Haitachukua muda. Jiambie pesa yangu nikitaka iende hivi inakuja this much watu wengine depending on where which month kuna pesa unakuta kitoweo ni nyingi kuliko ugali mwezi imeisha pesa imeisha lakini mwezi haijaisha and you need ugali sosa si ndio sasa ingine now if you didn't come up with the prioritization list utakuta umetumia entertainment na ile tasa wakati imefika ya kulipa insurance hakuna utakuta ile wakati uko suppose kulipa your standing order ya sako ama ya bank pesa onge haiko Utakuta wakati wa kulipa tithe. Eh! Unajiambia Mungu anaelewa. Si niende alinipatia nini yeye amesababi kama alikuwa anataka nilipe tithe si angenipatia pesa nyingi. <laughs> now is that now questioning God. Kwa, kwa nini hapo nipatia nyingi? Si sita nini? Yeah. So why not sit down and come up with your budget? Then from there come up with your prioritization list. Now, prioritization list unajiambia hii ndio nalipa kwanza ikifuatiwa na hii kifuatiwa na hii hata ugali ikiishia hapa ni sawa pesa ikiishia hapa ni sawa lakini at least nilikuwa nimefanya 1 2 3 4 now they tell us this ukipanda mbegu mbaya unavuna mavuno mabaya now this is the mistake that most of us do pesa inakuja tumeshatengeneza budget tunatumia 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 ile imebaki ndio tunaita savings ambia rafiki yako hiyo ni makosa Savings ile pesa imebakia. Kuna savings aina mbili. Savings ya kwanza ni ile unajilipa kwanza. You pay yourself first. You pay yourself first. I've made 10,000 shillings today. I've made 100,000 today. I've made a million today. Kutoka hapo natoa expenses. I spent 100,000. My profit is 900,000. Tithe is 90,000. After that, si kufikiria siju nini 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 ni usifikirie mambo ya ofari ni wakati ama ufikirie mambo ya Thanksgiving. Ah ah, kwanza pay yourself first. Pay yourself a 10%, a 20%, a 30%, a 40%, whatever percent ambayo utajiambia, pay yourself first. After paying yourself, you can now tell yourself, after umeshajilipa, kwambia mwili pole. Na hiyo si pesa sasa unaenda kujivinjari. Hii pesa ambayo umejilipa nitakwambia utaitumia aje. After now umeshajilipa you want to think about the other pressing things. You want to go tell God thank you. Kutoka hapo unaweza weka Thanksgiving, unaweza weka hizi vitu zote offering, unaweza weka sasa hizo budget zako za rent and all these other kind of things. After you've already set aside money to pay yourself first. Now why am I insisting on paying yourself first? I'm insisting on it because COVID COVID ili tuchapa 10 nakuta nan most people didn't have savings ulikutwa uchi ilikupata unprepared why because pesa ilikuwa inakuja unatumia 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 kibaki 500 ndio unafisha kwa sako unaita savings kama ndio unaweka kwa account marafiki ukiona mtu amekufa unatoa hiyo 500 unarusha hapo umebaki na savings ngapi hakuna unaona and so covid brought us to a space watu wamepoteza kazi customers wamewaacha kukuja and maisha maisha imeanza kuwa ngumu and on account of that unakuta many people start blaming god mungu amewacha mja wake what if my friend you came up with a saving plan personal payment plan unajiambia after kulipa mungu of course nimeshalipa government gava 
the next person is paying myself a 10% a 20% depending on your expenditures ile pesa yote inakuja unamjambia this percentage ambao utakuwa unajikipa myself na hii pesa umejikipa unatumia aje isi mwili pesa ya kuambia mwili pole ama kwenda kujinunulia nao new suit ama kwenda kupeleka watoto family Mombasa sisters waone pia wewe ni baba give us this our daily bread don't give them the daily bread no it's not about that now this money ambao umejilipa ya kwanza number one, is for investment is for investment now how do you invest first of all you sit down with men like this you sit down with your colleagues wale ambao uko huko nje you look at your investment options what options do you have for investing unaweza jiambia i can get into real estate unaweza jiambia i can get into money markets which is doing not badly off unaweza jiambia utainunua shares unaweza jiambia utaweka kwa sako for example to boost your shares ya yeah, ambazo unakuwa unaweka kila mwezi maybe umekuwa unakatwa 1000 1000 1000 hii pesa ambayo umejilipa if your sako is giving interest on deposits ambayo watu wengine wanaitaka dividend of 20% or 15% which is very good money unaweza jiambia hii pesa umejilipa utasukuma hapo and you will find within a year saving zako kwa sako zimetoka 50000 zimefika almost 500000 shillings why because you developed a habit of paying yourself first but first of all umeangalia ume list all your options mahali unaweza weka pesa kama pesa itakuja number two, kuna watu ambao wamefinywa na madeni kuna watu ambao wamefinywa na madeni wanaomba person 1 wanalipa person 2 person 2 aki, person 2 akiwasumbua wanaomba person 3 wanalipa huyu yes so unakuta they are living in a trap of debt that one is also in the church now when you're in debt trap becomes very hard for you to sustain your family when you're in debt trap becomes very hard for you to pay your tithe kwa sababu utalipa auctionia kwanza ama tithe <laughs> which one comes first yes some people might say auctionia but at least nyumba isifungwe yeah so unakuta hii haya madeni yatakusababisha uasi Mungu you are going to do things against the will of the father so how about you from today list all your debts andika andika bia jirani yako andika madeni yako yote <laughs> yes list all your debts ya mshwari ya fuliza sijui ya ya tala branch ya hiyo bank ambayo umekuwa unatoroka mpaka ukaingizwa CRB write all those debts kutoka hapo andika the interest rate ambayo unafaa kulipa for those loans unaweza kuta Sherlock alikupatia na 20% per month 20% per month times 12 how much is that 240% per year are you wise or otherwise imagine unalipa interest ya 240 are you wise <laughs> now look at mshwani unalipa 7.5% per month times 12 around 96% percent. unaona nika 7.5 tu nasema kipesa kadogo tunaweza omba alafu tunalipa tunafanya biashara lakini mchovi asali achovi mara moja anaomba hii mwezi anaomba hii mwezi anaomba hii mwezi anaomba hii mwezi and you find you will never have it so list the interest per loan kutoka hapo andika duration inafaa kulipwa by when by when when is the maturity for that loan hii ni kwa suppose kwa nimemaliza 2 months ago a month ago last year december hii ni kwa suppose kumaliza by june then kutoka hapo come up with a game plan hiyo pesa ambayo umejilipa badala ya kupeleka hiyo pesa kwa sako ikupatie hiyo dividends ambazo ama interest on deposits ya 12% why not pay that money to the Shylock ambao unalipa 240% per year that is 20% interest per month why not pay off mshwari ambao unalipa 96% per year 7.5% per month why not take your money there so hiyo pesa umejilipa start by paying zile loans zako ambazo ziko most expensive Number two, Look for those small debts ambazo zinakupatia pressure. Kuna watu kwa kanisa wametoroka kwa sababu ya madeni. Uliomba nani? Una kuja tu kuwekelea pesa kwa alta, sadaka unatoa, lakini pesa yake 2500. Ukimwona unamwambia boss nakumbuka. <laughs> nakumbuka na kumbuka. So una kutaka watu wanataka kutoroka kanisa because of you. Ama umetoroka because of other people. So why not 
come up with a way of paying this small to debts that you've been having. Why not pay your person with Jilipa 20% ama 30% ama 40%? Why not settle these small debts that you have as an individual? Then the other one is consolidate your debts. If you are able to get a big loan at a cheap rate, amba itakuja kumeza isi zingine zote, why not do it? I was among the first people to give mortgage ya bank kujengea watu nyumba. Kuna mwishimu wa fulani, tukotu me mwumulia nyumba kare. And you find, kama ukona mortgage, umejengea flat ama apartment, and you're supposed to pay 15,000 per month. What happens? Kwa sako ama kwa banks, most of them. Ukilipa 50,000, 45,000 inaenda kwa interest. Interest ipesa yako, ipesa yako. 5% ndio inaenda kupunguza your principal. So in one year, utakuwa umelipa 50,000 times 12, 600,000. Loan yako itakuwa imepungua na 5,000 times 12, 60,000. 540 itakuwa imeenda kwa bank. Na unaturingia hapa, this is my plot. This is my part. This is my house. Ilichengewa na bank. So if you have that loan for 10 years, 5.4 million. Umeenda kwa bank. Na loan yako itakuwa imepungua na ngapi? 600,000. Is it working? So tafadhali, tusikibilie kufuraia majumba and all that. Calculate what is called payback period. For example, unajua hii pesa ndio nimeomba 6 million. Nafaa kulipa in 60 months, 5 years. So, nafaa kulipa na miaka ngapi ama ni miezi ngapi. Then kutoka hapo hiyo pesa umejilipa. Si tumesema utakuwa unajilipa 10%, 20%, 30%. Hiyo pesa approach your banker, mwambie teremsha my loan by this 20,000. Teremsha my loan by this 30,000. Kuna standing order bado inaendelea, but these are extra monies that you're giving to them to lower your loan. The more you pay on the principal, hiyo hiyo pesa ambayo umejilipa, the moment you give to them, what happens is that interest yako inaendelea kupungua na principal inaendelea kama inaongezeka. Now, so if you find yourself in a debt trap, Number one, talk to God. Pray to God. In case you've been robbing him, in terms of tithes and offerings, please ask him to forgive you. Ask him to give you a new lease of life. Commit each of those debts unto God. Don't pray to God to kill your debtors. Lisa, how? Your debts are going to be written off. You want to connect. Now you pack on the Yes, eh? Especially Yes, God is able to pay for us those debts. It is possible. But if there is something that you can do about it, why? Kwa tukakubaliana record your expended income. Tukakubaliana record your expenditure on a daily basis. So if you spend on entertainment, enda kwa hiyo page, andika entertainment umetumia ngapi. Kama ni donation, andika. Kama ni tithe, andika. At the end of the month, try to find out how much your income has gone. Then call yourself to a meeting. Angalia how much you spent on entertainment. Julize, is that okay? Gari yako, hiyo mwezi you earned 200,000. Gari yako, umetumia around 75,000 on repairs and fuel. Talk to your friend. Should you continue having that car? It's eating almost half. We public opinion. Watu wana kufurai, unapak pale, watu wana sema, hey, ndume, ndume. No, no, you see, you see, you become the talk of the city. Like in fueling that car. Gari unatumia 75,000. Na mshara yako ni 200,000. Are you earning for the car, for the world, for, for yourself? So, so many people are concerned about what people will think or will say. If someone comes with a kabitz, unona huyo wa mbaki mizuri, huyo wa kona shida, hivi hivi matatizo, hivi shida. If someone comes with a four-wheeler, unona huyo sasa ni mbaji huyo. These are the people who seek God. But is that always the truth? 
nimeita kuhubiri Kibera Islams na hapo kwa chief nakuta Mercedes imepakiwa hapo na mtu amepenya huko ndani ile nyumba anaishi unashindwa he Mercedes unakuta mtu ako na nyumba ya matope lakini ile TV ako nayo haitoshei ukuta either Where are your priorities my brother? Unakuta unataka kutuwekea siju umeenda Hilton, umeenda siju wapi Mombasa na ndeke. Lakini tukiangalia school fees haijalipo hapo. Where are your priorities? Now we agreed that God has given us the privilege of shepherding our families. Now, it's not just about us, it's also about our wives. These lessons that you've picked, how about entrusting them to your wife? She's running a business. Ako na issue ya record keeping. How about you sitting with her and guiding her? Open rebuke is better than hidden love. You are the priest of your family. How about sitting with that son, that daughter, teaching them how to tithe? Sangini uneza ata wapatia tithe yako wa hesabu, na wambia yake kwa abasha, na watik. Mahali miyandu kwa tithe. Then they see the dad giving 50,000 shillings. They start thinking, okay, you mean mungu aneza patiwa hii yote? How about you coming up with an envelope? Kwa kanisa, kanisa ishi kama ujachukua envelope. Na sadaka you don't think about it on Sunday. As a family man, you want to think about your offer on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday mungu amekufanya kitu mzuri and you feel like thanking God, you can put a 50 bob there. Tuesday God has been so gracious. Umefanya deal kubwa. Uneze ka ngiri moja hapo. Tithe kuna bashi ya tithe. Hii tunongea ya offer na Thanksgiving. Then Wednesday, kuna kingine mungu wa mekufanya ka ten bob. Then kuna kingine hundred bob. By Sunday, unatoa ya pesa, unataka kuesamu, offering ni ya pesa gafi. By God's grace. How easy and good would it be for us to have what they call a family altar, whereby you are offering to God every single day as a man. By God's grace. How much of covering will you have given your children? How much of covering will you have given your family? by God's grace and mercy if we embraced some of these practices. Ya mwisho, ndo tumaliza. Nilishindo kumaliza ni wakati nikuwa na umba nimaliza. Ya mwisho, it's about networking. Tumungia about kupatiana, kulipa, kuinvest. Hii pesa inatokanga wapi? Hii pesa inatokanga wapi? Now, one of the things that happens when I was young, sali nikuwa kijana mdogo at the age of 19, my father introduced me to golf. Nilianza kuingizo kwa golf, nikanunulua mfuko yangu ya golf, nikataftua coach wa golf, and it was good. Na nikaanza kuchapa yu mpira. But I kept observing my father and seeing what he's doing. And I came to realize, golf siya matajiri. Mele jirani yako kama meshanga, mpatia smile. I came to realize golf siya matajiri, but golf, ni ya wana watu ambao wanaelewa utajiri. Ndiya jirani yako bina umesikia. I came to realize golf ina kuanga na 18 holes. Mashimu kumina nane. We are playing full set. Lakini in most of the courses ina kuanga na 9 holes. Sasa ukipike yu mpira na yu mkwanju the first time kabla mfikie the first hole na mmewekwa na mtu kama matiangi watu wangana kuanga paired watu wanendanga groups it can be three people a group of three or four sidani inapitanga five now what are you going to be talking with matiangi kutoka hapa mpaka pale kwa hile flat kabla mfikie mpira mahali hiko wabia jirani yako mtuongea nini na matiangi ama na president ama ki kuna uguru mtuongea na nini na ya usuniangalia ungelesha ya mtuongea na nini Tumambia bilo kwa na bibi, msupu, bilo watoto wako, what are you going to talk to them about? Now, John C. Maxwell says, good questions inform, but great questions transform. Now, people, nowadays, no, tapikia kama mudaiga, you need maybe one point something million. Na ato kiwa na pesa sanginu waneza kuangaliwa na kataa pesa yako. You have to be introduced by someone. Yes? So see, ati kuna pesa tu. Kuna wala wanangalia pesa yako wanakata. Why? Because golf clubs are a place for networking. So, wanangalia wewe, 
do they trust you? Yes, when mtu akuaminika, are you a resourceful person? Unaweza saidia mtu. So, kama wewe mtu akuaminika unaweza saidia mtu, you are given authority to introduce someone else like you. Ukitembea na four mad men. Don't look for the fifth. Beware. If you are working with four thieves, most wanted, na mko nao kila wakati, usianze kutafuta who is the fifth one. Beware. Birds of a feather flock together. So, those who understand that principle, they are ready to pay a million shillings when game of like a golf club. Because they want to find out who are the members. Nani wanaendanga uko. And they know, wakia kwa the same group, na CEO wa Nation Media Group, it's going to be very easy for them to get good deals for the advertisements. It's going to be very easy, wakia kwa na msi wa Kemsa, Forget about Kemsa. What are you doing in Kenya? MD wa National no, National Bank. We share based on KCB. We share with the same lot na Oigara. That one. Wa KCB. Kabla mupike mupira mufike pumani pengine. What are those things you're going to be discussing about? You're going to be telling him that my name is Tijo. I'm a strategy and leadership consultant, and I assist organizations on strategy. I do business process re-engineering. Can we do that for your organization? Kutoka hapa na niambia, yeah. In fact, I've been looking for someone to do that for us. Do you think Daesa kwa hivyo hivyo attending all these other things? Becomes very hard. So kutoka hapo, ana niambia, come, come, give it a try. And na ambuwa ni quote, for big organizations, five million? And I'm like, oh, it's okay. How much did I pay to join the club? How much have I made within one stroke? So, who is wise? The one who joined or the one who is thinking whether to join and how expensive it is? Now, this is a secret that will leave you a mesoma. <laughs> now, these guys go to the bar. Sometimes they try to see who is in which club. And they want to buy for that guy who they think is influential. Networking. The moment I buy for you, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how Doing business with such kind of people becomes very easy. What about us, the church of God? One as if you were. Hallelujah. To now end up with groups. Eh, okay, to now get, to now get. After church, Kwaheri. Next week. Next to you was an engineer, architecture, and all that. Do you know them? Do you know who they are? But you don't know what these fellow friends do. What if we started doing business in the kingdom? This is what Somalis are doing. Somalis. As of South Sea, Karibuyote, Menunuliwa, but these people, how much can we do if we are united? You are struggling with some, something, you are going to look, Kunitafuta Kuangelesha Kampuni Yako for Kunota Menita somewhere. This week, Nadime Wambia and Taongelesha is a parastapo, Kawambia and Taongea Kama Nimeketi. And you are going to get me, uh, I'm going to come with my driver, you're going to pay for ABCD, and where I'm going to sleep and all that and all that. And I'm telling you per hour, you guys are going to pay me 85,000. And they say yes. They looked for me because they know me and they know the kind of things that I can do. Networking. In marketing, we say this. People do business with the people they like. People do business with the people they like. Is there a person here that you've liked? What are they offering? So, unakutu unateseka kwenda mambo ya tendering, nini, nini, hizo mtu zinakuanga expensive. But if you talk to a brother here, and you networked, and you knew what the other person did, does, I mean, there are great things that you can do together. As a body of Christ, that's one of the things about we need to let achieve. So, nikikuliza, what are you doing? Na unyambia hauna job. It's my responsibility to make sure that you get a job. That's what is called brother's keeper. 
in the book of Acts, it was very easy for them to make it as a church. Why? Because everyone spoke. Everyone spoke about what they do and they declared their interests in the areas that they have needs and it became very easy. I've gone to people, to places, we have tried these principles and I've seen people coming up with empires from the body of Christ. I want to believe as Charles knew, by God's grace and mercy, man, there's a lot that you can do. The person who is not employed, take them as your project. Make it your aim to look for work there. Send referrals for them. I train many companies on networking, and this is what they do. In networking, we always say it's not about you giving business cards. Who say, but this is who I am. No, it's about you understanding who the other person is and how you can become of help to them. It is in watering others that you get watered. It is in sharpening others that you get sharpened. So, usikufe solo, usikufe kijeshi. Speak out, speak out. On that note, I just give you one minute. Tell your friend what you do. Tell them what you do. To squander to happen a magari, to non a what you do. If you are a thief, say I'm a thief. Come up with a track of introduced into stealing, then you are the referral point. Talk to person. Kunata on gay. Allow me to say this. There are some brethren. Allow me to say this. Kuna watu wameniita kama kampuni zao zinaenda kuisha. They are almost going under. And they are brethren. And I've gotten into their companies who are saying about strategies, business process, engineering. And today they are having meetings at the stand. Tukianza tukua na kutana almost kama mahali naka imechapa kama kibanda kaka ofisi kama finyana. But now nikiangalia by God's grace and mercy there is a lot that is happening. And I know most circumstances I might have charged three million. But because he's a brother, because he's a brother in the body of Christ, I just charged 100,000 shillings, 200. What if you who is selling materials, you started selling to all these brethren who are here. What if you who does training, everyone knows that you do training. Ukisikia kuna training mahali uko, unasema I know of a person. And you give the name of that brother. What if you who is an engineer, you tell everyone that you are an engineer. Mahali kila all these men are, wakisikia an engineer is required, you have over 20, over 40 men who are giving your name on your behalf. They are marketing for you without you being there. How easy is it going to be for all of us? Do you think bread is going to lack in the house of God? And we are not competing with each other here at Ushindani. By God's grace, we are complementing. We are dead to self and we are living for Christ. So when one body, one, one, when one finger hurts, the entire body hurts. When one of us is in pain, every one of us is in pain. How good, how lovely it is when brethren dwell together in unity. My parting shot. Don't be like those individuals who are asked, how are you doing? How have you made it? And please help me. How has your family stood as a man? I can see wife yako, anakuanga tu sawa, watoto wako anakuanga sawa. So how did you get there? Ni mwangu tu, ni mwangu tu, ni mwangu tu. Please, to teach is to learn twice. Your candle does not grow cold or off 